Hello and welcome back to Empowered. In this podcast series, we spotlight emphasis initiatives that nurture and empower our emphasians. Here you'll hear the everyday stories of empowered emphasians across the organization and geographies. With us here today, we have one such emphasian, Kimberly Lanham. Hi Kim, please could you tell our listeners Hi. a little bit about yourself? Thank you so much for having me on today. I'm very excited to have a conversation with you. Uh, My name is Kimberly Lanham. I am the Senior Vice President of Client Relations for Digital Risk. Thank you so much for joining us today. So to just give you a little context, over the past few episodes of the podcast, we've been discussing the core principles of the emphasis culture and how they come to life and shape day-to-day operations. And today we want to discuss the principle of work for each other with you. What does it mean to you, Kim? And how does it benefit the organization and the employees? I think this is such a great principle. And to me, work for each other signifies a collaborative approach within the company where employees prioritize supporting and uplifting one another. It emphasizes the idea that everyone within our company is interconnected and mutually responsible for the success and well-being of the organization. I think for employees, the principle illustrates that working together, we can achieve far more than we would individually. And the focus here is on fostering a positive and cooperative environment where everyone is willing to lend a hand, share knowledge and resources, and support one another's growth and development. It really encourages a sense of unity, shared purpose, and camaraderie towards achieving a common goal, more common goals. I think the the principle is everybody rows in the same direction. Um, And then at the organizational level, it really leads to increased productivity, innovation, and a positive work environment. When the employees really embrace the principle of work for each other, individuals prioritize collaboration over competition seek opportunities to collaborate and leverage each other's strengths and knowledge. And ultimately, the principle of working for each other fosters a culture of teamwork, respect, and mutual support that creates an environment where employees feel valued, motivated, and empowered to contribute their best efforts towards achieving shared objectives. This is fascinating to hear, Kim, how this principle seems to foster a really collaborative atmosphere at work. Um, I was wondering, could you share some practical examples of how this principle can be implemented in day-to-day operations? Sure. In our team, work for each other manifests in various ways. And one recent example that I have is a cross-departmental collaboration. I was working on an RFP recently, and I had to work with various uh, departments within the organization that I don't actually usually interact with. We were using a system called Ariba uh, to submit this RFP. And I had to work very closely with our billing and accounting team to get through the software and understand what I was doing. And through the collaboration and them teaching me how to use the system, we uncovered untapped potential for our sales. That's a key feature of Ariba that we were not leveraging at all, but which could significantly boost our potential opportunities. So by working with that team, we uncovered a whole new resource for generating new business. Um, And this example shows how collaboration between departments can lead to really innovative solutions and drive success for the entire organization. Right. That's actually a wonderful example of how teamwork and cross-departmental collaboration can lead to such incredible results. I wanted to ask, are there any other instances that you can think of where this principle has made a difference? Sure. Another example of working together is what I would consider knowledge sharing. So instead of a a one-on-one kind of accidental discovery like my previous example, this one is a very intentional uh, example where we have a weekly call across the entire organization for the business development teams or BD teams as we call them called the pitch showcase session. The different BD teams from across different verticals all come together to share insights, success stories, and best practices to adopt and sell the services. And this practice really ensures that everyone has access to valuable resources and fosters continuous learning and growth throughout the organization. It also enlightens uh, different verticals and different areas of the company, what other areas are doing and where we're focusing our sales on and where we're seeing success. 
and different sales methodologies that might be more successful that we perhaps could include. So I believe that this is a huge benefit for our organization and a true example of work for each other. And then another one I would say is, again, so we just kind of talked about accidental, intentional, and then this one is a little bit of a cross between the two where I also work on various marketing campaigns and I'm actively collaborating with different departments. Um, and as things pop up across the news or uh, a different person you know, says a client has a need, I'm always seeking inputs and expertise from the sales and delivery teams to ensure that we're working in alignment with other teams to maximize our campaign's impact. So not only am I working um, with our internal teams as far as sales and delivery, but then I get to work with the external marketing team and, and also learn what different types of campaign management they're doing to ensure that we have the most effective process for our team. And so these collaborations, whether they're on an individual level like mine or the team level, uh, which is more of the pitch so showcase, they strengthen relationships between individuals and departments and help everyone work towards a common goal. Right. I can see how knowledge sharing is really crucial for nurturing a culture of collaboration and learning. So does this principle of work for each other also extend to your personal life? I do think it extends maybe to my personal life and, a, you know, kind of externally to the uh, organization. Uh, it has a ripple effect beyond. So as thought leaders and industry representatives, everything we do outside our organization directly reflects our core values and principles, especially if you are being seen externally in light of a position or role that you may have for the company. The more we do to gain respect externally only benefits the company as we strengthen our brand reputation. For instance, I founded a nonprofit organization that supports senior and aspiring women in the mortgage finance industry. And through this initiative, we have demonstrated our commitment to diversity and women empowerment and making a social impact that's directly reflected back to digital risk and emphasis. Right, that's wonderful to hear and know. It's very interesting to see how this principle not only benefits the company, but also makes a very real positive impact on the community. Thank you so much for your insights, Kim. I'm sure our listeners are going to find what you've shared extremely valuable, too. So thank you so much for your time and for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. We will be back with another episode of the Empowered Podcast to take a look at a different EVP principle very soon. So stay tuned.